there are three seasons that uh, captivate the Rye City School District Athletic Program that are governed by New York State Public High School Athletic Association. Uh, the fall season usually begins in late August and ends sometime at the beginning of November for high school students. The winter season picks up um, shortly thereafter and ends early March. Before you know it, spring's upon us and spring will begin and ends usually at the beginning of June. Uh, at the high school level, we, between junior varsity and varsity programs, we offer approximately 50 teams that compose this fall, winter, and spring seasons. Percentage-wise, the number of students that participate in RIA is quite high. Um, at the high school level, approximately in the fall, we're just almost reaching the 60 percent uh, percentile rather of students that participate at Rye in the fall. As we get into the winter, our team's numbers are a little lower and the number of students on those teams um, decrease, so our number lowers by participation. And in the spring it spikes back up because it, once again, our number of sports offered uh, allow for a number of students to participate. The benefit of being a part of a sports team and, play and participating in sports it, one helps the children get organized for their day. They get their schoolwork done and then they can go to practice or vice versa. So it kind of gives them a time sequence for themselves. Um, also, it gives them a sense of belonging, being a part of a team. Um, they make connections with their friends. They make connections with coaches. I think a team also gives them a chance to get physically fit, um, which will go carry on for a lifetime of, of their own well-being and their own um, love for sport. Um, also being a part of a team just makes them feel good about themselves, building up their self-esteem, um, giving them good confidence. Middle school students at Rye uh, for modified sports consists of grades seven and eight. We traditionally at Rye offer um, not just a large number of sports, but number of teams. We host approximately 30 teams between fall, winter, and spring, and that's due to the fact that we are able to offer two teams per sport. So for example, in the fall, we offer two field hockey teams, in the winter, two basketball teams, in the spring, two baseball teams. And that goes for every sport that we offer here at the middle school level. Our modified sports program, we offer, as I mentioned, um, two teams for many sports. And when we do that, we differentiate them by a modified red and a modified black team. This just allows us to, uh, in an organized fashion, be able to put students on a team. It's balanced, if you will. It's not one team denotes a higher level than the other. It's, it's simply a split of student athletes that balance both programs. Uh, the goal of the modified team is to prepare kids to go on to JV, uh, varsity, whatever sport they're playing. Also, uh, to give them a way to just play and, you know, be part of a competitive team. At the middle school level, it's our goal to provide a balance of opportunity with a little bit of competitiveness involved. Um, there are cuts sometimes made at the middle school level, but that's dependent, uh, of course, on the number of students trying out and the number that can be selected to fulfill that program. High school, 9 through 12, um, allows for students traditionally 9th and 10th to participate at the JV level with juniors and seniors at the varsity. However, at a varsity level program, students may participate as freshmen. So in other words, during the tryout period, it can be all-inclusive grades 9 through 12 and a roster can be solidified based upon those numbers and those particular student athletes appropriately placed. The sports schedule um, for modified sports compared to say the high school, uh, for my modified team and most modified teams, it's Monday through Friday, usually about an hour and a half of practice and maybe at most two games a week. When you get to the JV and varsity level, it's usually six days a week. Uh, so Monday through Saturday, typically, most times we don't go on Sundays. Uh, there are about two hours for practice. We sometimes will have film for 45 minutes and, you know, we work out throughout the year uh, so that, you know, it can range from anywhere, you know, from an hour and a half to three hours on any given day.
Unfortunately, we can't keep everyone on all our teams. So from modified through the high school levels, there are times where we need to make cuts on our teams. And when we do that, we give our students an opportunity to uh, perform, if you will, for up to five days of tryouts. After tryouts are performed, um, our coaches meet one-on-one -on -one with our student athletes to give them feedback. The feedback being either they've of course made the team or unfortunately there's other things that they need to, to work on to, to grow to get better in that particular sport. So Family ID is an athletic registration platform that a parent or guardian may sign up their child for if they're interested in sports. The biggest thing to understand about Family ID is that you create an account that you input all of your child's information. Every season, this must be updated. If your child, for example, is interested in a fall sport, you register the child on Family ID by using your login, your account. If they would like to participate in the winter or spring, you must re-register them for that sport. For the past two years, this being the second year, we've been fortunate enough to offer two programs that are considered new to Rye. First being Varsity Boys and Girls Ski Racing, which we have large numbers participating at the section level. We also have a merge program with girls ice hockey within the section. A merge program is a program that consists of multiple schools to create a team. Our future programs that are up and coming, the first being Unified Athletics, coming this spring, Unified Basketball. Unified Sports is a, recognized by the New York State Public High School Athletic Association and partners with Special Olympics. It puts athletes and partners together, students with special needs and students that are mainstreamed to participate in the sport of basketball. The last sport that is up and coming is this fall, boys volleyball. This has come to fruition over our community lunch involvement, our tournaments in physical education, and our need to participate by our uh, student athletes.